You're going to learn how to create this awesome Excel comparison chart where you can select the primary year and then the comparison year and the chart itself updates automatically. You can download the Excel file in the video description. And with that, let's get started. With your month end numbers across the past five years, the first thing that you want to do is create a second data set that will power the chart. And that's the big secret creating a second dynamic data set that updates based on the selected years. So an easy way to do this is to select the first two years of data, copy the cells, then select a cell over here and paste. You then want to delete the numbers and years that are currently there since we will be replacing them with formulas. And once you've cleared the data, you need to create a space where you can select the two years that you want to compare. So let's select the range C2 through C3 and go to Data, Data Validation. Under Allow, select List, and for the source, select the years in C16 through G16, then click OK. You now have drop downs where you can select the years that you want to compare. Now, for the dynamic data set below, select the left header, which in this case is cell J16, and enter the formula equals C3. Then, for the right header, enter equals C2. We will be using these headers to calculate the numbers below, so equating them to the selected years above is going to make the data below match accordingly. Speaking of the data below, select the top left cell, which in this case is J17, and enter the following formula. Equals index function C17 through G17 and then place dollar signs in front of the C and the G, then move to the next argument, enter one, next argument, match function, J16, then put a dollar sign in front of the 16, next argument, C16 through G16. Now make this reference an absolute reference by adding dollar signs in front of each part of the reference, then move to the next argument, zero, close parentheses, close parentheses, and press enter. Now take a close look at your formula and make sure that you have all of the dollar signs right. This will be important when we copy the formula to the other cells. And once you confirm that the formula is correct, use the fill handle to copy the formula over and then down. So how does this formula actually work? Well, the index function references the row of data to the left, and it returns the number in that row sitting in the column specified by the result we get back from the match function. And the match function is looking for the selected year here, and it returns that year's position among the years listed in the source data. So as a result, this whole formula gives you the corresponding number for the selected year. And you can see that when you change the year on top, the data down here updates accordingly. Awesome. Now you just need to create the chart. So select the dynamic data set here and go to insert, line chart, 2D line. Then reposition the chart to cover the range B5 through K13. After that, go ahead and click the chart Click the plus here, uncheck the title, uncheck grid lines, and move the legend to the top. Then select the Y axis labels, increase the font size to 12, select the X axis labels, increase the font size to 12, select the legend, and increase the font size to 12. Next, click on the orange line, then right click and select Format Data Series. Click on the Paint Bucket icon here, and under Line, select Solid Line. Then for the color, select the color purple or a color of your choice. Next, click on Marker, and under Marker Options, select Built-in, change the type to Circle, and set the size to 8. 
Then under fill, select solid fill and choose the color white. Under border, select solid line, choose the color purple or whatever color that you chose for the line, and then increase the width to two. At this point, select the blue line on the chart. Then back on the right, click line and select a solid line. Set the line color here and change the transparency to 75%. Next, click on marker and under marker options, select built in, change the type to circle and set the size to eight. Then under fill, select solid fill and choose the color white. Then under border, select solid line and set the color. Increase the width to two and change the transparency to 75%. With that, you have an impressive dynamic line chart that is awesome for comparisons. And if you enjoyed this video, then you will also love this. Learn how to create an amazing bullet chart by following just a few simple steps. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again in the next Spreadsheet Life video.